All new tonight at 6, a monument, monumental change to a piece of history in Hialeah. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. The Hialeah Park racetrack has roots tracing back to the early 1900s. Now the space will be used to build more than 300 homes and a school. And while the city supports the change, activists are saying not so fast. CBS 4's Yvonne Taylor joins us live from Hialeah with both sides of the story. Yvonne? And both projects are scheduled to be ready next year. Elliot and Lauren, we're talking about 343 rental units. They're not homes for sale. Add to that a school that should hold almost 3,000 students. This is an aerial view of Hialeah Park. Change is coming here, and it has a name. Flamingo Village. More than 340 units, according to the information from Prestige Builders Group, the project's construction company. Also a school with a capacity for almost 3,000 students. All of it will take some 20 acres of the 220 that make up the park. It's important to understand that this was all approved before I became the mayor of the city of Hialeah. Mayor Stevan Bobo says the racetrack is dormant. It's used very seldom for concerts. It raises passions, no doubt about it. Why do the city support the concept of building in these 20 acres? City of Hialeah needs an entertainment district. City of Hialeah is in desperate need of more housing. He acknowledged it will bring more traffic. More people, more development is going to bring that. The Hialeah Park was home to a racetrack in the golden age of the city. It's almost 100 years old. It was featured in the 1980s hit Miami Vice, showing the flamingos. And it should be noted it's privately owned. The Brunetti family has owned Hialeah Park since the 1970s. And according to our colleagues in the Miami Herald, Brunetti Jr. partner with developer prestige companies to develop the project. It's considered a business deal. The city has the right to eminent domain for places like this. Millie Herrera, who has lived in Hialeah since her childhood in the 1960s, was a member of Citizens to Save Hialeah Park. How can you put a school near a casino? How can you put residential? Are anyone in the residential is going to be under 21 years of age. They're going to be steps away from a casino. As we went to the site, we ran into this gathering of people in a celebratory mood. And as we were getting our video, the gate was closed on us. This woman, who feared revealing her identity, said it'll be congested. Hace falta la vivienda. Meanwhile, Roger Tejas said he's torn because the city needs housing, yet the park is part of the history of the city, where he still takes his family. So how much would it cost the city if they wanted to buy the park? According to the mayor, some $400 million money that he says the municipality does not have. Now, add to that, the owners, the Brunetti family, have said that they do not want to sell, not now or never. We're live in Hialeah. I'm Ivan Taylor, CBS 4 News.